This year's All-Star Game was the worst one in NBA history, which is really saying something considering how bad last year's was, and the year before that, and the year before that. You get what I mean. It was bad. So bad, in fact, that I could only watch it for three minutes before I went to go play Clash of Clans. So something needs to change, so it doesn't end up like the NFL. But to understand what needs to change, we first have to look at the problems. There is absolutely zero defense. And when I say zero defense, I mean zero defense. Like, the fastest speed that any player went on defense was about the speed of a light jog. There was maybe the odd block attempt or steal, but for the most part, defense was absent from this game. And the score most definitely shows it. I don't know why the NBA thinks it's fun for fans to watch a game with no defense, where players just walk up and take open threes, but that's the way it is. And that moves us on to the second problem, the three-pointers. It's all that they shot. A total of 168 threes were taken by both teams in the All-Star game. To give you some perspective, 25 threes are shot in the average NBA game. Damian Lillard alone shot 23 threes in the All-Star game. And I don't get it. Like, nobody cares to see how many three-pointers these guys can make. Anybody can make a three, with few exceptions. Sure, NBA players can make them more consistently, but still, it's not entertaining watching players repeatedly take threes over and over again. Like, you know, mix it up a bit. I want to see some sick dunks and 360s and alley-oops and backflips. You know what I mean? But that doesn't happen because of the biggest problem with the All-Star game. No motivation. The game is absolutely meaningless. The reason players don't play defense and just take threes is because they have no motivation to try to win. Why would they put effort into a game that doesn't matter just to risk getting injured while they're still battling for a championship. It makes no sense, but I know how to fix it. First, it should take place after the season is over. Some of you might not agree with this one, but let me explain. Like I said earlier, during the All-Star break, players are still battling for a championship, so they don't try. So the easy solution? Make it take place after the season. Then they can go bananas and actually play a competitive game. The All-Star break should be a break, even for the best players in the league. They can still keep the three-point contest and dunk contest. The skills competition sucks, so they can probably get rid of that. But yeah, keep the three-point and dunk contest. So there's still some entertainment during the All-Star weekend. But having the game after the season is over could make for a way more entertaining game. Secondly, there could be a cash prize for winning. I know All-Star players are already multi-millionaires, and they don't need more money. But if a few hundred thousand dollars is the difference between a good All-Star game and what we saw this year, then just pay them. However, even with it taking place after after the season is over, and with a cash prize, it's still just another 5 on 5 game, hardly any different than the other 1,230 games played during the regular season. So I think it should be cancelled altogether. Instead, imagine this, a 3 on 3 blacktop tournament. Just like in 2K, there's 24 players in the All-Star game, so the NBA could take that same amount of players, and boom, there's 8 teams of 3. Then, those 8 teams could compete in a single elimination tournament bracket just like this for a nice shiny trophy, and say $500,000 for each player on the winning team. There would be 7 games total, with each game lasting 8 minutes long. That's 56 minutes of total playing time, which is similar to the 48 minutes of playing time in the All-Star game. And each game would be played one after another on the same quote, so viewers could watch every single game. <sighs> Doesn't that sound a lot better? Like, imagine LeBron James, Stephen Curry, and Giannis Antetokounmpo going head-to-head -head against Ben Simmons, Josh Giddey, and James Harden. I think we all know who's winning that. But it would be an entertaining game, nonetheless. I personally think that 3v3 is way more fun to watch, especially with All-Stars. When I play 2K, I don't play the regular game. I play Blacktop, usually the 3v3 mode. So watching that in real life would be amazing. Adam Silver, make it happen. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing. See you in the next one. And have a great rest of your day.